Hats off to all the ground staff, everyone at the stadium who've helped put this event together. Oh, and this could be an opportunity here. It is a great chance now for Chester, and what a finish. A glorious effort there, and on the seven-minute mark, Ollie Cook blasts it emphatically home. A brilliant strike of the football, no chance for Nosley keeper Harvey Delaney, and it's Chester who break the deadlock in this under-15 plate final. Ball came for him, he showed the strength to get there in front of Jack Southern. And Ollie feeling jolly thanks to what was a brilliant hit, left-footed an equaliser. Held up well. Could be an opportunity. Oh, what a hit and what a save. Brilliant strike that by James Lewis. He thought he'd scored. It's top quality goalkeeping. It really is. Pulled the trigger, opened up. Lovely control with his first touch. His second blasted towards the top corner. But that is quite brilliant goalkeeping. It really is. It gets better and better every time you look at it. James Lewis, and now he's going to take this corner. 59th minute. Lewis. It's a good one. Goal mouth scramble and in. Nosley have equalised. Forced in from close range. Harvey Hancock is the happy goal scorer. Lewis has been brilliant. He's had great chances in the game. This time he floats over the corner and he's gone in possibly off the back of Ben Noonan. I think Hancock's claimed it. Might have deflected in off the number 18, but it doesn't matter. They won't care. The key is the ball's ended up in the back of the Ball's net. Into the box. And it comes again, floats it. Surely, great save, what an amazing save. That's brilliant goalkeeping. How has he kept that out? Well, Noah Shaw thought he clinched the victory there. Beautiful lifted ball into the box. Shaw met it. Well, that's even better than the save he made from Lewis earlier on. And stop those penalties, I'm sure, if it happens. Better away by Shaw. Rigby forward. And now. Tabernet, Delaney claims, referee looks at his watch, blows his whistle, full time, 1-1, Cook. Here we go then. Penalty kicks, and it's Nosley St. Helens to go first. It'll be the captain, Jamie Forshaw. He was so good during normal time. So too was the Chester keeper. Made brilliant saves. Callum Mackin. Here we go then, it's Forshaw, oh, it creeps in. He got a touch onto the inside of the post and it just goes over the line. And Nosley St. Helen strike first, Captain Forshaw comes up trumps, just. That was so close for the keeper, guessed the right way. Oh, and agonizing for him. And delight for Forshaw, relief for Forshaw. One nil Nosley St. Helens. Well, one skipper has scored. How about the Chester captain? 
Rafa Vilches hits it left footed and that's a brilliant penalty never going to miss emphatic decisive top class 1-1 and Delaney went the wrong way that's how to take a penalty both successful players with the armband next up it's James Lewis he was brilliant in normal time had several chances to score will he be successful from the spot no it's saved and the keeper of Chester had a magnificent game made save after save he got close to Forshaw's effort and he denies Lewis as he did from open play in normal time he does it from the shootout brilliant Chester have the advantage now still 1-1 but the save was made no joy for Lewis Reese Owen oh, just calmly passes it into the net and Chester are 2-1 up now Vilches and Owen make no mistake Delaney took the wrong option two very good penalties from Chester Nosley have it all to do often you do see swings in shootouts the team that take the early advantage go on to lose Nosley will be clinging on to that Callan Doyle can he level it up at 2-2 he can rams it low along the turf and true two apiece they've scored two of their three and they're back in it well done Callan Doyle an air of inevitability about that one if they keep scoring their pens though they're going to win Chester Stanley Tabernet the number 11 steps up saved Delaney produces the goods and we're level at 2-2 after three penalties each Delaney stood waited and produced the stop Tabata denied 2-2 and we're back where we started really the pressure builds with every penalty though for sure Jack Southern for Nosley St Helens wonderful dispatched with a plum excellent from Southern and Nosley have the advantage 3-2 up beautifully done by Southern the number seven Ollie Cook, he scored at this. Ollie Cook scored at this end in the game proper. It was a great finish. Here he goes from the penalty spot, and it's saved. Harvey Delaney is coming up trumps here. It's his second successive stop in the shootout. Ollie Cook scored in normal time, but it was a good height for the keeper, and Delaney is proving the hero here. They're 3-2 up, and it's over to Ellis Hickman. If he scores, it's all over. Ellis Hickman to win the plate for Nosley St. Helens, and it's over the bar. Well, he tried to go for the top corner, and he couldn't pick it out. Well, the glory was potentially his, but he couldn't do it. They were ready to celebrate. Well, what a dramatic shootout this is proving. 3-2. And it's the keeper, Callum Mackin. He's got a score. The Chester goalkeeper. He's already made a good save in the shootout. If he scores, it's 3-3. And it is. Keeper versus keeper. He hits the back of the net. 
And now it's sudden death. Well, it's gone one way than the other. A brilliant penalty shootout so far. Well, Delaney probably feels he should have saved that one, went under his body. His opposite number saw the funny side. Now Noah Shaw to take this one. Shaw nearly scored in the 80 minutes. It's saved. And again, the pendulum swings. This time, the way of Chester as Noah Shaw tried to place it. Good save. Well, the keeper, who's just scored a penalty of his own, makes the save. And now it's Chester's chance. Well, Hickman couldn't do it for Nosley. Can Jack O'Reilly get it right here? The number four to win the plate and does so. Chester win the penalty shootout by four goals to three. They're victorious. Time for jubilation. Time for celebration. It's so, so tough on Nosley St. Helens, who were magnificent during the game, coming back from one down. They might have gone on to win it after getting the equaliser, but Chester held their nerve in the shootout, which went one way, then the other. Jack O'Reilly, that's brilliant from the number four, stepped up, rifled it into the net, and that was one of the more thrilling penalty shootouts you're likely to see. Chester, who led so long in the game, were hauled back to 1-1. Drama, excitement, thrills and spills in the penalty shootout. But O'Reilly gets the job done for Chester. They win the ESFA Under-15 Boys Champions Cup plate final. Sneaking home in the shootout. The smile says it all. And here they go, Chester, the cheery champions. They win the plate. They got through the penalty shootout. 1-1 one, one after normal time. Party time for them. A brilliant final, excellent character shown by Vilches and his players. A really good advert for under 15 boys football. Congratulations to Chester.